It's a public school here. Can we please just let kids come to school and be accepted at face value by their teachers? Solidarity inside these school board chambers, some in opposition, some in support of a policy change for trans students at Rockland Unified School District. It is inclusive. It, it amazes me that people say it's not inclusive. The school board chambers packed tight, some showing the emotions of this decision on their faces, some with signs, others with their voices. I'm here tonight to ask you to do no harm. There is no right to privacy between children and their parents. Outside the board meeting, parents and community members unable to get inside watching this debate on the glow of their cell phones. It looked to me like the, uh, the, the opponents had uh, quite a few people bust in here. And they, from what I had heard, they had been at the front of the line since 3 o'clock. It was supposed to start at 6.30. So they're pretty much controlling the whole atmosphere inside right now. I try to come to all of these everywhere. We've been fighting this fight for several years. The Rockland School policy would require staff to notify parents if students request to be identified as a gender other than the child's biological sex. The policy, proposed by the board president, is opposed by the Rockland Teachers Association, who says it's against the law. Rockland is looking at passing a board policy that's been passed by a handful of other school districts that's in direct violation of the law. That will put students at risk, will put teachers and other school employees at risk. Trans rights at the center of this school board fight. Yes. Igniting emotions and overflow attention.